Hi, my name is Tanishka and I um, am running a tour called the Rainbow Bridge Tour and this is to all the major cities in Australia and the aim of the tour is to awaken the Rainbow Tribe, to bring everyone together and to disseminate the ancient practices that we can do to midwife ourselves through this shift from um, the old way of being to the new earth. In other words, back to Eden, back to living in attunement with ourselves, each other and the greater cycles. So, um, when I first was given the guidance and meditation to do a speaking tour, I wasn't fully aware of um, the bigger reasons why, uh, as often is the case, uh, those that do spiritual work, you know, you just get your orders, you do it, and then later on the big picture reveals itself. And a month or so ago, I was given a huge gift and um, through vision and through channeled writings was shown the ultimate truth about the Holy Grail. And it is not what was um, thought uh, and claimed in the Da Vinci Code and even in the work by Lawrence Gardner, Holy Blood, Holy Grail, uh, the research on which Da Vinci Code was based. Um, and I've done research uh, and it seems no one else has come up with this. So um, it is such deeply sacred, uh, secret knowledge that this does not feel appropriate for me to stick into a YouTube clip. Um, as I have done with a lot of other free teachings, um, just as I've put up a lot of stuff on my Facebook page, The Moon Woman, and also on my Astro Oracles, this feels like it uh, could, um, well, it's, it's very powerful, it's very potent, um, and that's why it's been literally suppressed, and not only suppressed, but inverted uh, as a means to oppress the masses and limit our consciousness. And because we're now living in what is known as revelations, uh, from the Latin revelatio, meaning to reveal the truth, now it's all coming through so um, and that's because we're in the energy of what's called the photon belt so these electromagnetic photons of light are bringing all the shadow up which is creating intensity but it's also letting everything out to be seen um, and the secret about the holy grail is one of those things so I invite you to come to one of my talks. These are in Byron Bay, Melbourne, Sydney, Perth, Adelaide and Brisbane. Um, and I'll also be doing one day workshops. These workshops are to um, basically have a look at the state of your inner marriage. So um, those that have seen, I don't know where I've put it, <laughs> those that have seen um, the I'll put it up as a as an image. Um, those that have seen the tour uh, sacred symbol of the twin serpents, the caduceus. Um, this is very much the theme of the workshop because for us to make this evolutionary leap um, as fifth dementional beings, um, that is beings that have awakened the upper chakras and operate not just out of the five earthly senses but the subtle senses. So this is clairvoyance, inner clear seeing, clear audience, so clear inner hearing, intuition, so clear inner knowing or clear cognizance, or, um, and another one is clear sentience, so clear sensing. So um, my work in these workshops is to unveil the state of your seven feminine and seven masculine archetypes. These are the psychological aspects that govern the seven major chakras. And like the old musical Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, um, we need to create harmony and balance by balancing yin and yang, feminine, masculine, um, at the seven gates, if we're going to bring these energy meridians of Ida and Pingala, the sacred feminine and sacred masculine energies, up from the base to the crown. So this one day workshop, um, you'll come out of there knowing the current state of awareness of each one of those archetypes, as well as being given uh, tips to balance those energies um, and yeah, create a beautiful flow of infinity energies at the seven gates. For those that are wanting to journey even further, I'm running a 10-day workshop with some other awesome facilitators. 
uh, during the month of Ophicus. Now, to the ancient world, this was known as the month of Tantra. It's the 13th sign. Now, we've heard about the 12 astrological signs. Well, again, this is part of the secret knowledge that was suppressed to keep a lid on our consciousness. When we work in that vortex of the winged serpent sign, when the sun is transiting through the second part of Scorpius, which is the lesson of Quetzalcoatl, the awakened man who has awakened his inner twin serpents, um, then uh, in doing that we literally transcend being um, dominated by our lower selves. And so the work that we do over these 10 days, we're going to be working intensively, but in a fun way, um, marrying uh, the God and the Goddess at the Seven Gates by working one chakra a day. And we'll be doing that with yogic asanas, so poses, with um, uh, mantra, so with sacred Sanskrit word and tone. Uh, we'll also be doing yantras, so creating sacred mandalas to clear blocks in the chakras. We will be doing kundalini dance uh, every day, focusing on the particular chakra we're working with, as well as fun activities from, you know, drumming to cacao and alma ceremonies and a full um, chakra um, awakening of the twin serpents as a kundalini dance on the 13th of the 13th of the 13th, a very auspicious window. Uh, in addition, we'll also be doing um, sacred ceremonies for each of the elements, a baptism, if you will, to create sacred communion uh, with each of those alchemical elements of creation. So that's December 4 to the 13th of this year in beautiful Byron Bay. And um, I would love you to check that out. All the details are on my website, which is staroftar.com. There's different accommodation uh, ranging from camping or in your own van right up to, um, you know, comfy beds. And uh, if you would like discounted tickets to all of these events, there's only um, a small window until the crowdfunding for the tour expires on the 29th of June 2013. And those of you not in Australia, the plan is to travel overseas with the Rainbow Bridge Tour in 2014 and 2015. So really appreciate any of your pledges. Um, there is a range of things you can get. Any money that you pledge you do get something valuable in return and also my heartfelt thanks for making this vision a reality. Thank you.